we want to hear from you mm. on this show where the name Betty Who came from. Oh, because sure. Because that is not your real name. No, it's no. not. No, it's not my Christian name. That's not, not your name. government name. name. It's not the government. It's a lie. Not on, not on either passport in Australia or America. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Come I on, am, dual citizen. I, I am dual. Wow. There are things you know about me that are unsettling. That, wow. <laughs> I do love it, though. I do love it. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> totally. No. Totally. Um, uh huh. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I know. Same. <laughs> she runs. Me next to Nile Horan yeah. on the Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Um, so Nile, you, come with me. Take, take my hand. hand. You take my hand, Nile. <laughs> Run. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a, a funny. It's like the lore of it grows a little bit as I get older because it was such a like brash decision that I made when I was really young. Mm. But I had I was writing songs all through high. I went to high school for classical cello, mm. so I was not a, a vocalist or a songwriter wow. technically in high school. That's not what I was studying. Um, I was supposed to be practicing cello like eight hours a day, and all I did was keep like sneak, sneaking into the practice rooms to like play my piano, like teach myself piano and write songs. So I, at, the, at that age, it was very clear to me the people who were like dedicated to classical music it really shows yes. <laughs> like there's yes. you really need to be you know yes. ready to practice mm -hmm. and like sit down and do it and I was just sort of like I wanted to hang out and like experience life and then yeah. write about it in my songs so getting towards the end of that school year my senior year I real I didn't want to apply to schools for cello much right. to my like parents like <laughs> horror after you know f at that point I think 14 years of cello Stop lessons it. and I'm like so they're like you had a practice yeah. thing uh -huh. around. it's so big <laughs> yeah. too so I annoying I was a cello player you yeah. get it yes. see that's cute for us yes. okay um anyway I was applying to schools for music and I had had this song I wrote in high school um about a boy who was very religious and thought I was like the devil's work because I was like a little bit queer and had lots of gay friends and he liked me but was very you know when we would talk about stuff he'd be like well that's not what you know that's oh, not what God wants Lord. we'd he, we'd have all those conversations and me being me yeah. was like right but I'm gonna talk you out of this right, you know what I, I mean guess. <laughs> and and so I kind of I really had a big I think mostly because he didn't want me he I then was obsessed with him you yes. know classic yeah Feel so that. I, I wrote the song where the hook was um yeah, it was called uh, You're Everything to Me But Mine was the chorus, right? Me, like 17. So many feelings. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and the the words Betty Who was not in the song at all. But there was that was what I titled the name of the song because the idea of the song for me was that I was this he wanted like a Betty. He wanted this oh. version of a woman that I was never going to be because he wanted like a housewife who was going to bear his children really early in their lives. He was going to settle oh down, God. move back to Kentucky. You know, that was like his vision. And that was not me, but I wanted him to be my boyfriend anyway. So the song title was Betty Who, and that was in high school. And so I, when I went to college and I started working on music with Peter Thomas, who was my best friend, still one of my best friends, yeah. um, and we worked together all through school. We both dropped out to like make music professionally. And he and I were talking about a stage name, and I was kind of like, my Christian name is Jessica Newham. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I was like, it's not screaming star power. It's, it's not. not giving Beyonce. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, Jessica. I need, yeah. even Jessica yeah. as a whole. Do you know what I mean? And by the way, no, my like people call me Jess. It's yeah. not even as if I, I'm not giving Jessica to begin with. <laughs> Regardless, I was like, I don't, I do think I need a name. It's also going to help me sort of like separate myself from, mm -hmm. I think, the insanity of what it feels like, you know, to do this thing. Mm -hmm. And I looked at him and he, I was like, what about Betty Who talking about the song? Because we had talked about, he was like, that phrase is not in the song anywhere. Yeah. We should call it like something, something that mm -hmm. makes is in the chorus, you know, like a normal person. Yeah. <laughs> and so he he had heard the title before and I was like what about Betty Who and he was like great don't think about it and I made a Facebook artist page literally that it, moment and I never I never thought about it again Stop it was a really it. big choice Stop that I just went okay and, and like committed you know 